Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do it again with those scraps and make something cute for Valentine's Day in the process. Y'all stay tuned. So with Valentine's Day fast approaching, we can always use fun little ways of expressing our love, our thanks, our appreciation for those around us. And today's project is just a wonderful way of being able to do that. It is this really sweet little mini clipboard complete with envelopes. So it's very simple to make and I'm going to show you exactly how I've made it. I've already got this one packaged because I'm actually going to be giving it away so it's ready to go but I will show you just how simple it is to make this and how quick it is to make this. So make sure that you stick around for part two of this video because I'll be showing you a really cute way to package this as a gift or maybe you want to sell it. Okay to make our project we're going to need a scrap piece of chipboard that measures three and a half by five. I have some scrap papers and the number that you put on your clipboard all depends on the number that you want to put on. Right now I have four and they measure three by four and a half. Then I have this scrap piece of paper and it measures four and a half by four and a half and I'll be using this to make an envelope. Then I have another scrap piece that I'll be using to cover this. And then I have another scrap piece that I will trim away from to cover the back. So you really are just gathering scraps because none of my papers actually go together, but um, they'll work on this project. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chipboard and attach it to this piece because I want to try to capture as much of this part as possible because I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is some beautiful paper from the Prima Love Story collection. It is absolutely to die for. So I am going to take my chipboard. I'm going to turn it around this way because it'll be easier for me to do this. And I'm just going to place it as close to the top as I can and as close to the edge so that I can get as much of that cuteness as I can. And then I'll come back and I am just going to cut around. And you'll notice that I have left the edges raw and when you do yours, you can wrap your paper around or you can um, stain or paint the edges. I am going to leave mine just as it is. And then I'm going to come back with my little sanding block and just go around those edges because I want to take some of that newness off and just give it more of a little worn look and I'm going to go in on some of that too. Okay so now we've got that piece. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and place tape on the back side get this stuck down and I'll come back with my finger blade and lift up my tape. Then I am going to take just a little bit of my glue because I see a spot that I missed and I'm going to put some glue there. And now I'm going to bring in this scrap piece and really decide which side I want. And because I'm going to try to save as much of this scrap as I can, I am just going to come in from the edge and get that stuck down. And then again, I will cut out back with my block and do the same thing here. So you can see that no matter which side of this paper I chose to use, they're both going to be very pretty. 
And now I'm going to bring in my little Tim Holtz bullnose clip and I am just going to place it on here. I'm not going to glue it down or anything. I'm just going to place it and it'll hold in place very well. And then I have my little sheets of paper that we can write our love notes on. And all I'm going to do is come back with a sticker that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to take some of those stickers and just place them on my pieces of paper, just as a decorative finish. And that way, you can write the sweetest little love notes to your sweeties. All right, so now we can take our little notes and just tuck them in under the clip. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is I am going to make an envelope for this. I'm not going to make the complete set. I'm just going to demo how we make one. And then I'll also link the video that I showed how to make an envelope if you don't have a punch board. For this, I'm going to use a punch board and I'm going to use my mini board. And basically I need a piece of paper that measures four and a half by four and a half because my card size is two and a quarter by three. So I'm going to put this in and this tells me that for the card size that I have, my paper should be four and a half by four and a half and then my first punch should be at two and a half. So I'm going to punch this and I'll come back in with my bone folder and make my score and then all of my other scores after that simply line up the pointer on the punch button here with the score mark that you made. So you punch and you score. Punch and score. Line it up again with your score mark and punch. And now I have a mini envelope that is going to be perfect for the card that I have on this project. So to close my envelope, I'm going to take my glue and just place some glue along here. Bring it up. And now just like that, we have a sweet little envelope. I am going to take a piece of double-sided tape, tuck it right there so that when this is ready to be opened, we have a way of closing it. So then I'm going to take this and it'll just sit on here like that. All right, so before I put this down, I am going to go ahead and wrap this with a strip that measures seven and a quarter by five eighths. And it's just a decorative way of closing this project. So I am just going to wrap it like this. I'm not making this a belly band. This will be a true wrap that when this is opened, this will be released and it won't be a part of the finished project. But you can make yours as a belly band if you want. I'm making this so that it really is the way that I am closing this particular project. So there we've got our beautiful, beautiful little wrap. And now I am going to just take decorative floral piece and just place it right there because it's cute and it's feminine. And this is an Anna Griffin embellishment. So I am going to take this and I am just going to put it down just like that. And you can see just how cute that is. So now I'll come back in with my envelope and I'm just going to tuck it in there just like that. And my, oh my, is that not delightful? And these are just so delightful and such a fun way to use our scraps. You can definitely write your little love notes, put them in the mini envelopes, leave them in a lunchbox, a book bag, car seat, wherever they're going to be discovered by the person that you're trying to surprise. So let's do a very quick and easy packaging of these. And this is going to be very simple. I am going to bring in one of my four by six clear plastic bags and I'll place my little board in upside down so I remove my adhesive tape. And now I'm just going to flip it around because it's easier for me to close it straight when I have it like this. So I am just going to take this and put it down and I'm going to leave myself enough room so that I can come back and put a topper on this. So I have a topper piece that measures four by three 
and all I'm going to do is fold it in half just like this and I'll just crease it get a nice little crease on that and I'll come back with my bone folder get that nice and smoothed out then I'm going to come back with my tape runner and I am simply going to lay down some tape and now I can take this and I'll decide which side I want to be the front I think I'm going to go with this side so I am just going to take this and I'm going to try to get it in here nice and straight sometimes I'll get it right and sometimes I won't so I'm going to take this put it down just like that and I think that's pretty good on straightness and so then I'm just going to come back with a sticker and place it down right here and it says happy Galentine's Day and then I'll take one of my little pink bows and I am just going to put a little bit of glue on the back and then I can take this and I'll just place it right there like that and that gives us a very simple but very cute way of packaging this and it leaves it open so that from the front to the back you can see exactly how this looks so I'm going to bring in the other one and you'll see this is how it looks when it's not packaged this is how it looks when it is so guys I hope that you have liked this quick and easy little project on how we can again use our scraps and if you have please hit the like button if you are not a subscriber to my channel I would love to have you join my online crafting family you guys have a great day, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.